Construction in Nepal today is taking place at an unprecedented scale. Infrastructure development projects increased urbanization and modernization accelerated by Nepalese working abroad are driving construction work. The devastating earthquake in April 2015 provided impetus for more construction. Bricks are one of the key construction materials. Industry experts estimate that more than 5 billion bricks are manufactured every year in Nepal, and demand is increasing. While there are hundreds of brick brands manufactured by numerous companies, one thing is common. Many of these brick factories use children and people from poor and marginalized communities. They work under the hot sun for more than 12 hours a day making bricks and carrying heavy loads while exposed to chimney smoke. So how do these children and families end up in brick factories? Local community members are hired as brokers by faraway brick factories to identify, recruit, and provide advances to families before they begin work. The advances paid are used to run households, pay debts, or celebrate festivals. Once families are indebted, they have no choice but to work in the brick factories. Brick factories only operate during November to March, the dry seasons of the year. Families typically migrate from their homes to factories in another location. This seasonal migration not only disrupts families' normal life, it prevents families from participating in political and development processes in their villages and deprives them of access to local government services. Families work to clear their debts, but often take advances again the next year. Once started, this vicious cycle continues year after year. World Education Nepal and its partner NGOs have been working to break this cycle of exploitation and child labor in the brick industry. World Education's Building Better Futures initiative reduces child labor and exploitation and provides support services to families at brick factories in the Kathmandu Valley and Sarlahi in their home communities. Using a holistic approach, World Education Nepal and its partners educate children of brick workers, expand livelihood options for brick workers, and provide access to financial services to break the cycle of exploitative labor. Children who work in brick factories show poor academic performance and demonstrate high levels of absenteeism which results in some of the lowest learning outcomes in the country. In order to address this challenge, World Education incorporates four major activities, coaching, scholarships, strengthening government schools, and literacy classes. This is Sri Faidoka Lower Secondary School in Bhaktapur District, where World Education's Building Better Futures initiative is conducting a coaching class. Children from several districts who came with their parents to the brick factories are taking the class. Coaching classes are successful in covering content children miss while they are away from their home communities. Students also approve attendance and are able to advance to higher grades. <laughs> This is grade 7 of Sri Janata Secondary School in Sarlahi District. The new session has just begun and there's excitement in the air. Morning, sir. Morning. Only a few days ago, these students were in grade 6. One among them is Sharada Kumari Choduri. Today, Sharada is a promising student. However, her past tells a different story. Sharada's mother became ill while working in a brick factory. The family took a loan to pay for her medical treatment, but the doctors could not save her. To repay the loan taken by the family, Sharada and her brother started working more than their usual hours in the brick factory. Sharada started missing more and more school and eventually dropped out. 
Building Better Future staff learned about Sharada's situation and helped her enroll in a non-formal education class. These classes target children who are out of school and working in brick factories. After attending six months of non-formal education in 2012, Sharada was readmitted to Janata Secondary School in grade three. She also received uniforms and school materials through the initiative. Touched by her mother's death, she aspires to become a nurse one day to serve people like her mother. Hamara mai se nurse ban ta ham kahli se ab parhai ki sthiti na hai ham nurse kena ban se ham koshish kar se ham mehnat karwai se parwai se ham nurse ban bai mehnat kar se ki sab din sa jaan ko tya parwai se se ham ban jabi bujhai se nurse Sharada is just one story each year, World Education and its partners have helped more than 850 former child laborers like Sharada to enroll in school through Building Better Futures. With limited options for livelihoods and income generation, many poor families are ultimately forced to work in brick factories. World Education Nepal and its partners devised several activities and interventions to diversify families' livelihood options and create new opportunities for income generation. Two particular skill building strategies are the farmer field school and livestock development workshops. Struggling farmers attended farmers' field schools to develop skills to improve agriculture productivity. After 18 weeks of school, the farmers are able to upgrade the fertility of their land through efficient management of irrigation systems, compost, and use of improved technologies. The farmers have reduced their use of pesticides and are implementing organic pest control measures. Many of the farming groups take their produce to nearby markets to generate incomes for their groups. To address the financial instability that often drive families to accept exploitative labor in the brick factories, World Education's financial literacy interventions aim to impart financial management skills to people in brick factories and strengthen their financial resiliency. Financial literacy classes are conducted for parents of children working in brick factories. These parents are now managing and mobilizing their groups. The groups have been able to earn 78,200 rupees to 200,000 rupees per season from a small plot. I am going to the house. I the house. I when Shanti joined the farmer's field school, her family was struggling to make ends meet. Shanti was committed to improving her farming skills to generate income for her family. Her husband contributed a small income to the family while working abroad, but it was difficult for Shanti to cover basic household expenses. Her children dropped out of school to earn money in the brick factories. With the skills she's learned through the farmer's field school, Shanti now raises cows and sells milk, milk products, vegetables, and goats. She says that she now earns more than her husband, and she is able to share vegetables with other families in her communities who do not have enough to eat. <laughs> She no longer has to depend on her husband to meet household and education expenses. Her children now go to school regularly. Participants of the livestock development workshops learned about proper feeding, types of shelters, and veterinary services for their livestock. 
The poorest families were also given livestock to start or expand their businesses. Participants have been particularly successful in generating profits utilizing the skills they have learned through the workshops. Farmers also learned how to prepare fodder, to feed livestock, and establish community nurseries. Farmers learned about various types of earnings, have begun to save, and are regularly accessing microfinance services. They are able to reduce their loans, access microfinance institutions, and to record their daily income and expenses. After attending the training, many parents join existing savings and credit groups or form new groups. Building better futures also strengthens the capacity of savings and credit groups by training participants in effective group management. More than 7,000 families from the brick industry benefited from livelihood activities and participated in livelihood workshops to learn critical financial and business skills. In the workshops, the participants created income generation plans for their families, learned cost-benefit analysis, and budgeting skills and develop marketing strategies to increase their profits. Consequently, families have launched new small businesses using resources available in their own communities. <laughs> आज <laughs> They also learn skills to cope with challenges related to running businesses and develop techniques to identify and expand markets for their products and services. World Education Self-Employment and Economic Education Program, or SEEP, an entrepreneurship program, works with youth whose educations were interrupted when they migrated to work in brick factories. Through the SEEP classes, youth develop entrepreneurial skills and establish small business groups. Many participants are able to make an average income of 30,000 rupees per month when the national minimum wage is 9,800 rupees. They also learn how to connect with microfinance institutions to grow their businesses. Shiv Chandra Chaudhary of Sarlahi district used to work as a brick factory as a laborer. Back then, life was hard for him. In 2014, he received veterinary training through World Education. After the training, he started providing veterinary services to his own livestock and neighboring villagers' livestock. Today, his income has increased, he no longer has to work in hazardous brick factory, and his neighbors generate higher incomes from healthier livestock. World Education and its partners are empowering families in Nepal to break the cycle of exploitative labor in brick factories. Building better futures creates opportunities for children who have worked in brick factories to continue their education. It provides families with resources and skills to pursue alternative ways of making a livelihood. Perhaps more importantly, it helps individuals like Shadara, Shanti, and Shiv 
realize that their life can have a new hope and that they are not resigned to a fate of dangerous labor in the brick factories.